You know, technology can be a real pain in the ass. I know it can give you a little control, but then again, it can leave a pile of dead bodies on the ground. I mean, what am I supposed to do with this? Fucking goldfish. My name is Adrian. I'm your average student at the Ridgefield School for Delinquents. I rob places. And I'm usually pretty good at it. This is the trader. He's a town's local black market. He's known to the school for selling everything from weapons to drugs. However, he doesn't have any particular name. So people just call him things like Trader Joe, or the guy who pees in the coffee, the guy who hits on my sister, or the guy who sleeps in the attic, the guy who watches Animal Planet and breathes really heavy. But he's like a brother to me. A really, really shady older brother. I'm sure you could do it, but uh, it's gonna add up to a pretty penny. Great, I mean, get some things for this job. Well, <laughs> Actually, I'm gonna need some new things for this job. Uh, I can get you just about anything by tomorrow. I love you, you know that. You're not getting any discounts, man. I know. So, uh, what do you actually need? Zack and Dime, better known as the Blackout Brothers, are famous for having the most concussions and still being alive. I can't remember whether it was 11 apiece or 12, but whichever it is remains to be the reason why over the course of a single month, 
Both their IQs plummeted, and they got the brilliant ideas of mugging a couple of kids for their bikes before they were shipped off to Ridgefield. Young man, I found this dope jump over by the creek. Or? Yeah, it's got the same tranny and rocks and shit. Huh? Oh. Yeah. Oh, shit! Dude, what? Yeah. Ass? <laughs> Dude, it's one of those video games. Yeah, I got a system in my place with the, like, this TV in there. What? Yeah. Yeah. Yo, that's crazy. Where's Sean Where's Sean there? What's a school for delinquents if that it's drug addicts? Damon is a simplistic person with a very little on his mind, which is why he's very easily distracted. As long as this kid's been at Ridgefield, he's never been sober enough to tell anyone his actual name, so people just call him Twitch. Hey, uh... A relatively level-headed guy, as far as druggies go, Sean takes it upon himself to make sure that Damon and Twitch never do anything too stupid. Yo, guys. Got that pit from Trader Joe's. Son, I was starting to think you weren't even going to show. Man, hell no. And what, what is this? Yo, man, that's a Rubik's Cube. It's from the 80s. I got with the deal. The deal? It's just some, some ratty cube. Hell no, man. Just shop and smoke this. No doubt. Yo, man, I'm fucking hungry. Let's get some food. But dude, we have no money, no car, no money. Yeah, I got a couple of bucks on me. We still don't have a car, dude. I I'm saying, yeah, we could take my bike. Sean, that's a good idea, man. Nah, man, that's the most retarded idea I've ever heard. I mean, how can you fit three people on a bike? And even if you could, the nearest food place is like a million friggin' miles away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Dude. Yo, it's a mad good idea, you know. Nah, it's fucking stupid. Dude. No. Dude. No. Hold this for a second. Huh? Yo, check this out. What are you talking about, man? Dude, what the hell are you doing? Dude, these boxes probably belong to someone, man. Oh, if they belong to someone, they'd be inside, not out. That's true. Yo, let's go riding. Yeah. As luck would have it, those boxes did belong to someone. The Duke. Royalty among the underground, but tyrant to those who cross him. He's the invisible hand that runs most of the local business under the eyes of the school security. The brothers have just entered a whole new world of hurt. <laughs> Jimmy. Jimmy's the Duke's bitch. He was actually one of the few kids innocent of his charges before he was sent to Ridgefield. 